and it's Sunday. Good day to be out because there's not as many people and then even better uh, in the morning there's even less so it works great for me. Any other time as you can see it's a kind of hard to do anything. This thing's still all closed up. It's been like that three years now. What? The lights on inside. Can't really look in the windows though. There's all, you know, they're very, very no trespassing, no parking. Stay away. Stay away from the crazy looking fortress style building. It, it is fucking, I mean, brutalist architecture is sort of the look around here. But uh, there's something about that fortress it's a fortress you know if you look at the top too i don't know there's a lot of buildings like that the bank down in chinatown uh they, they the chinese built a new bank down there and it looks like a uh, it looks like a fort from like starship troopers or something you know like if they had to hold it off against a zombie attack or something it wouldn't be that it wouldn't be that hard like like they're totally prepared for that i remember uh looking at it with my friend and he's just pointing out like you know what appear to be like guard towers and reinforced steel and all this kind of stuff and it, he's like what are they what are they expecting to happen you know they expect the island to be invaded and you know, they're going for the gold, because I guess they're going to keep gold there. So maybe that's it. I don't fucking know. You know, they, it seems like they have dual uh, use. A lot of these newer buildings that are constructed, the big ones that are, you know, by corporations. Even if you go to, like, I, at what I said, there was by corporations or larger companies. Sometimes I spit shit out of my mouth just to get to the next set of words. And known as any cool what the fuck I'm saying but yeah if you even go to like a, a mall like an outdoor shopping mall in your area or your town whatever you'll notice these uh, faux guard towers uh, what they look like I mean just uh, the Walgreens whatever uh, in the suburbs they have them too you know those the towers that have a light on them and it's like a, a, a faux space, like it's not really used for anything. And I remember when I started seeing that design coming in, like in the mid 90s, I'd be like, what, what, you, what is that for? You know, I used to think how weird that was, like what a weird design choice that was, you know? I mean, you know, now you can probably get ideas of what they could be used for, you know? Or, or you should. Things like that, I mean, not too long ago you couldn't talk, I mean, you could talk about it, but you'd immediately be dismissed as the schizo, you know, um, and, and some people still are, you know, but the, uh, but that was like, uh, that was really far out to think about back then, but now it's, I don't know, it's not so far out anymore, especially when we've seen what we've seen, and you don't even have to be like a, deep into it to conjure up an idea conjure up an idea of, of what the the other uses for them could be can break sun at this time in the morning it's hot I mean we have it we have a different sun anyway than the one it used to be growing up uh, when I was younger the sun was uh, yellow and it was very high in the sky and warm now it's burning white and it's just above the uh, 
the shot, the, the line of those buildings. It's like right, it's behind the buildings now. Uh, in fact, the yellow sun uh, was what, in, the, in canonically in the stories, is what gave Superman his powers on Earth because we had a yellow sun. Um, I don't know what he would do with that. I don't know what that does. That, and it's, you know, it's never really easy to look at the sun, but uh, it used to be you could, you, you could catch a glimpse of it if you were dumb. Um, actually, no, there are people that, that do that sun gazing stuff, but you got to do it early in the morning, you know, like at sunrise. But uh, now it's like it, 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 your eyes just want to crawl out of your head and run when you look in that direction. It's crazy how hot and, and the heat feels weird, too. Like I was talking to my wife about this. It's like you're, it feels like it's burning my skin. You know, just just being out, and it obviously you know it does sometimes. Uh, some people get sunburned, but it feels like it's cooking. Like it feels like it's just going like it's turned on. It's going. Like, it's a different thing. It's a different. Um, it's a different sun, man. It's not the same one. Now, but whether that has to do with uh, parallel dimensional shifts or whatever, there are, there are people that know more about that kind of stuff than I do and it's never been really super interesting to me it's just different I mean I know it's different you know it's schizo as it sounds um, you just feel it like inside there's like a, a whatever you call that thing between uh, eyesight and your mind that place just beyond it where you there's some kind of thing that we don't know how to access. Some kind of intuitive thing. Falls into that category. The moon, too. I mean, that used to seem, used to feel like it was much higher in the sky. Now it's, uh, it looks so close now at night. I, I've done videos on it, like where I showed it and talked about it, and how there's some people that theorize that what it is, is it's a reflection or a picture or a copy of some kind of, of the, this area here. And it's almost like can be used as a compass if you know what you're looking at. But like, I can look at it at night and see the craters almost perfectly. And I can't read a sign, a neon sign two blocks away. It's like, what? Usually when something's lit too, like if it's a ball that's lit like that, it wouldn't be lit all the way to the edge. It's uh, for a, an object that's supposed to have light reflecting on it. You know, um, even if it's a half moon or just one side of it, it wouldn't go all the way to the complete edge. That's fucking retarded. What it's like is like a, like what the Bible says it is, a light. You know, it's like a light. That's how a light works. That's how a light looks. A princess saw some people clean this the other day it was really cool because usually people are throwing trash up there her house used to be right here her house used to be here I mean obviously a long time ago and I think the reason she had the house here is because of way is the way the wind comes down from the mountains uh, there's always a, a breeze blowing through here that's pretty strong so they probably built it there you know because it's cooler uh, you think something like that would be protected, right? Historically, um, or I used to think that, but now I understand why they destroy these things, why they take these things down, things that don't fit in with the historical narrative that exists. Uh, a lot of these buildings that you see in downtown anywhere, like the, the city hall, the library, you know, whatever it is, um, with this incredible architecture that even with all the res all the resources and know-how of current year, you couldn't build some of that stuff. I got my dad thinking about it too, because uh, across from his building, there's this, the city hall was built in the 1800s. And there's a tower in the middle of it with a giant uh, bronze or maybe gold statue. It must weigh several tons. 
And I'm like, 1800s that. They had what, horses? And they had wagons. And everybody was starving, you know, coming out of a civil war uh, 100 years prior. Why would, how did they get that thing up there? You could put all the wooden planks and scaffolding you want. It's a mathematical problem. You're not gonna get that thing. You couldn't, I mean, now you could do it with cranes. Uh, a, a lot of, a lot of big, uh, big machinery could do that. But in the 1800s, so that kind of stuff causes a problem. So maybe there was something about her house. Maybe it had an Antiquitech or something that uh, hurt the current historical narrative. So they, they removed it. That's really what's about what it's about. Because people are like, well, no, they, you know, they want to move it so they could what? So they could build a park for the homeless people to sleep in. That's all it is. And, and a place where they can give me tickets for smoking, even when I'm on the edge of it. I'm not in the park. And then I don't go to court and they have a bench worn out, you know, hypothetically. I mean, that's why they take this shit down. I mean, that's why in Iraq, how they had to take that, that place down I was talking about last week, where I tore down all the statues. Uh, now, a lot of sites like that, that don't fit in with the historical narrative, the one they have now. Also, that Iraq site had um, these giant statues that were supposed to protect the earth from demons. They were guardians. So, I mean, that was really in the crosshairs. So then, um, Al-Qaeda, the toilet, translated to Arabic, um, went over there with their perfectly pleated pants. The regulation size, clean flags with beautiful printing. Again, the Iraq Kinko, Kinko's giving them a good deal. And uh, they have all this nice looking stuff, but they want they, to offset that, to try to sell you that it's a ragtag group of, uh, of crazy people. They put them in old, dirty Toyotas. And you know what? Job done. Because, uh, you know, how many people are asking the kind of questions I am? Well, look, they're, all in these old, they're in these old Toyotas. It's like, yeah, but dude, that guy's outfit. Like, I, that outfit is worth more than all my total clothes combined that I've ever owned. You know? And usually when they have some kind of a ragtag sort of terrorist organization of what it's supposed to be, or whatever, it was at one point it was supposed to be a lot stronger and I guess the, the story fluctuates, right? You know, but if it was supposed to be something like that, they wouldn't have um, uniform uh, gear. Like they wouldn't have, everyone has standard issue flag. They're all nice and clean. And, um, and, and those, so many of those videos too, the beheading videos. It's always some British guy. You know, he takes his fucking thing off at the end and starts talking to the camera. It's like, wait, wait, what? What is he doing over there? You know, they don't. It's like they don't even try. Sometimes they go through all the trouble of doing a lot of the stuff to make it look somewhat legit, and then it's like they don't go the extra ten yards. Now they're not even going the the. <laughs> they're not even going the, the extra fifty yards. They, they just it seems like they don't care. Or like they want you to, to know. Almost like, you know, what are you going to do about it type of thing. I'll tell you what I'm going to do about it. I'm going to make it fun of them on YouTube. So, uh, you know. Get ready. <laughs> Don't blame the teacher. Blame the school.